now it's 8.30 at night, and we're through, and uh, what we did today was, obviously it's unbelievable, right? It was. It was. What we did is, we um, went to a boys and girls club, they had all the youth there, and I was saying, they're all meat eaters. Oh yeah. All meat eaters. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a seven years old next year, and what I want to do is prove to them that being a raw vegan is the way to go. So what we did is I did, um, we had a push-up contest, 20 push-ups and most of them couldn't do it. Right. And the plank, we did the plank, one minute plank sit, and guess what? They couldn't hold them. They couldn't hold them. Finally, what we did is we had a race. I raced every kid there for about 100, 200 yards, man. Not 200 yards, like 200 feet. 200 feet? That's yeah, because it. it was a basketball court down and back. Yeah. So I think it's That's like it. 80 feet. Yeah, each way. <laughs> I, <thought it> <laughs> <laughs> I raced them both ways. I didn't win though. I came in second. I thought maybe third. Maybe third, but it's yeah. no more than a, a half a step behind. Right. That that's the point. That even though I'm getting way older than them, I stay young. And how many was there? 25, 25 30, 30 kids. Yeah. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. It was it was great though. I mean, the refreshing things were the kids knew what kale was. Half of them have had green smoothies before. Wow. That's right. Um, Everyone almost had a banana whip. Right. They. They're real knowledgeable. When I was a kid, I had no idea what kale was. They, a lot of them knew what veganism was. Not exactly, maybe, but they're real familiar with what a vegan is. So that was pretty cool. When I was at their age, I don't even think anybody knew what a vegan was. <laughs> I mean, right. I don't even know how many vegans there were. Not and many. like Arnold was just saying before we started the video, if this isn't gonna happen in Lansdale, it's not gonna happen anywhere. The vegan revolution. This is a, a great area for, for change. A lot of positive stuff is being drawn towards Arnold, Arnold's way. This is like the raw food capital of the world, but it's a great, he's got more healing stories than what? All the metropolitan cities and the East Coast combined or whatever? Talking about the, uh, yeah. We're talking about the uh, 25 kids. Yeah, so they were... Uh, they were impressed by you. Yeah, they, they were. They thought I was a lot older than I was. Um, Colin, the cameraman, thought he was a lot older than he was. And they knew I was a lot older. <laughs> yeah. And they they liked the, they loved the food, they loved the green smoothies, they loved the banana whips. Banana whips. They liked the pudding. They liked everything. They're, they're really encouraged by it. Some of them said that they had parents that were vegan. They were pretty knowledgeable, I thought. I was really excited by it. I think, you know, it starts with youth. They were pretty smart kids, they were knowledgeable about different issues and maybe global warming and stuff like that and, and where things are headed and it's important that we get to the kids when they're young so they can start these habits up right because we got to counter market Kellogg's and Post and uh, right, McDonald's right, and right, Burger King right. and these, these kids are inundated with advertising from time to get up, unbelievable. How many advertisements a day, a thousand or yeah. whatever, thousands from the breakfast cereals to the sugar companies to the milk companies to this to that so and we got show obviously athletes famous people are the way of doing more actors more actresses more athletes going to vegan there's someone to look up to someone to follow yeah and there's a lot of them out there every walk of life from singers to actresses to musicians to athletes to pro athletes you pick the sport wrestlers mma fighters tennis players so no matter what you're doing politicians no matter what you're doing you know whether you're thinking or using your body being vegan or raw vegan is going to make you do that better. No, that's a tremendous boost yeah. for the environment. Whenever, every time you become vegan, saves hundreds of animals, saves the air, saves the water, starts the deforestation of the Amazon, the air quality. Anyway, anything else? Everything. So, hopefully, we, we, we've been meeting a lot of people coming in here. Um, for the burning campaign, people coming in are already vegan, and it's especially young people, obviously, but. It's been encouraging. We have a lot of healing stories too, but I think it's a good time, you know, come to Arnold's Way. We got a lot of good stuff going on. Come to Drew Ma's Way. Yeah, come to Drew Ma Fitness. Yeah, yeah. Brian's opening up Brian's a place. Up. Okay. So it's good. It's gonna be a good anyway, time. Anyway, this is Life from Arnold's Way. Bye. Bye.